when you're making a documentary, your subjects, you know, often become more than just subjects, and they become friends. They're part of your life, and and we really felt like we were in this together. So when they were faced with some of these challenges, we, you know, we were right there with them, um, trying to be supportive. And uh, the thing that was really refreshing to see was when they were brought into when they were brought to Berkeley by Realm. It was because the person that brought them there completely understood how valuable they are and, and what the, a program like that and what instructors like that can do to a school. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, regret and, and, and it's a shame that, that the folks in this one area weren't able to see that, um, but it's to the benefit of this other community and they're really being embraced and they're in a community that, that can re have resources to, to help the program. So. Our hope with the film is that this, do, you know, th that it has that kind of ripple effect, and that other educators and education reformers and designers and community activists see the film and think this is something we need in our community. Maybe not; a, it's not necessarily a farmers market, but it's this idea of looking at your community and just really determining together what is it that you need, what needs to be improved, how can we make it better, and then realizing that you probably have a lot of those resources. And even better, some of them are the young people in your community. So, so that, is, that is something that I think Emily and Matt have demonstrated time and again. And our hope is that by, by screening the film for a lot of people that that, that will sort of catch on.